His rebel yell sent shockwaves around the world 40 years ago. Since then, Billy Idol has continued to revolutionize music, releasing new albums and going on tour. Let's take a look. Now the legendary rock and roller and punk icon is celebrating the 40th anniversary of his second album, Rebel Yell, with a brand new deluxe expanded edition featuring never before heard tracks. Billy Idol, kind enough to join us now in studio. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, hi there. So what is the special sauce? You have touched generations with your music, still selling out venues. What keeps people wanting more, more, more? Uh, well, hopefully, it's, it, I really love what I do and, uh, you know, um, really believe in what I'm doing. And, uh, well, the music has held up. These songs from Rebel Yell really hold up. They're still fun to do, you know. So somehow or other, uh, Rebel Yell, Eyes Without a Face, they don't, they don't really get old. They seem to uh, still be fresh somehow. I can't believe it. And, and people really know you for your variety. So how do you balance the classics that, that people are yearning, that they want to hear, but also the new sound and, and collaborating with, with people like Miley Cyrus? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of a balancing act. You, you, know, you want to give them some, some stuff they know, and then we get to play a few things that are kind of bit new and interest us, and that's the way to do it, you know, and you get, get the best of both worlds. And you debuted a track uh, from your longtime guitarist and songwriting collaborator, Steve Stevens, from the original Rebel Yell recording session. Why release that now? Um, it's really because we found a few extras on the tapes, you know, that uh, we were going to release uh, at the time. But uh, one of the songs, Love Don't Live Here Anymore, we found out Madonna was doing a version of it. <laughs> And uh, we, we had a full complement of songs, so we decided to leave it. We just never came back to it. But when we, when we looked at the tapes and listened to them, yeah, all the vocals were there, all the guitars were there. So it just seemed like, well, here we are. It's like a timepiece, time capsule. You all have worked together for so long. How has that dynamic changed or, or very much stayed the same, perhaps, over the years? I think the thing is, me and Steve, is that we give each other space. We don't crowd each other. And, um, and then I think we're really into what we can do for each other. You know, uh, I, when I met Steve and I really saw how talented he was and what a great guitar player, I just knew he could, anything I wanted to do, he could do it in spades. And that meant I could do anything with this guy. And so it, yeah, it meant we could play together forever. And that's what seems to be going on. You know? What's it like for you to celebrate this monumental album? And does it feel like it's been 40 years? Well, no, it doesn't. It, not at all. I mean, it's a few lines and stuff. But <laughs> Still looking good. <laughs> it doesn't feel too long. You know, it's amazing, really. Yeah, I can't believe it's, it seemed to have gone by in a flash, you know. What made you decide, we need to do this again, re-release it? Well, uh, it's, yeah, it's 40 years and way to celebrate the 40 years. And also, yeah, like I say, there's a few things we found. There's another track, Best Way Out of Here as well, that we hadn't put out. That was more or less all there. Uh, so uh, there was enough extras and enough sort of different variations. We found a few like early versions of the songs that uh, were quite different to the, how they ended up. So it was nice to be able to show the fans, oh, look what, what they were like. And as we worked the album, we decided, oh, well, Flesh of Fantasy started off as a punk rock song and ended up a groover, you know. So uh, you could see the sort of, yeah, how the songs moved. And you were really so, born out of that that UK punk movement and 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 really filled with challenging societal norms and and being a bit rebellious for the younger generation would you advise them to, to tap into that what kind of advice do you give to the people who are just coming up well the thing was we were really especially in the punk days we were only doing it to uh, you know sort of really add entertainment for the few other people that were into it there was it was a very small scene but then it kind of exploded. We never expected that. So I think because I started out doing it for sheer for the love of it, it really paid me back in a mm. way. And that's kind of what happened. And then uh, we were able to go on doing it in the same spirit ever since. You, know? you still love it. It's, yeah, it's been great. I mean, it's, it's my dream to do it. And, uh, and I've lived my dream. So that's not many people can say that. Mr. Idol, we thank you so much for your time. What Cheers, a pleasure uh, to have you on. You can listen to the 40th anniversary edition of Rebel Yell wherever you stream your music. And for our viewers in New York City, keep an eye out as the Empire State Building will be specially lit tomorrow in celebration of the anniversary.